right, guys. Good evening. It is about 10 o'clock. We're about to check this cooler that has nowhere to walk. But it is about 60, probably 70 degrees in here. All the fans are running. I can already tell you on the way inside this door, I heard the condenser running and then the compressor shut off, probably on high head pressure so more than likely I'll see a uh, condenser fan up there that's bad. We'll check it out. I'm still going to do my standard check and uh, I can't see what's back there so I'm going to this camera see if I can get a nice little look at the coil. So let me go ahead and go outside and I'll guarantee we're going to have a some bullshit <laughs> how the hell am I supposed to get in here I gotta bring up a six foot ladder set it up right here climb over and get on the six footer and go down stupid I'm not sure if y'all heard that uh, condenser right now shut off because that one back there alright alright so I'm gonna throw that on my back. Uh, I'm gonna take that ladder up with me. <laughs> throw it over the side and have a way to hop over, come down that six footer on the other side, then hop over back on the back way back out. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. All right, guys, we got over. Woo! It's pretty fucking stupid. This lady's like, oh, they usually put a ladder back there. Sure. Not a problem. Uh, she's running. But this is our guy right here. Hey, look at that. All right. Just from listening to it, I can probably tell it's going to be a condensed fan motor issue. Um, so, start taking this top off. Get right back to you. Alright, look at the condition of this condensing coil. So. I'm not gonna stick my hands in there just yet. Check voltage to that, check the capacitor, but it seems like we probably have a dead motor. So. Uh, we'll see if we can get them running with one motor for right now. I'm gonna go to the truck and get a brush and clean all this off. And uh, probably bring my soaps for uh, my uh, pump sprayer, rinse it down. But uh, let's check the voltage to this other motor. See if I can get some good shots here with one hand. Alright, I was about to check the voltage on here and... Uh, see that burn mark back there? So I pulled this out a little bit. Sure enough, look at that. Right there. So, we got two burn wires. This is my line wire. Sorry about that. Probably an insulated water and white. Probably my other one. So it'll tell you right here for 230 volts. Your line ones are purple and your white right there. So this is why this motor's not starting. There's my line one. It's clearly broken. The yellow is, I believe it's just insulated. Yellow right there, insulated with a wire nut. Um, and white, I think our white is actually good. So we'll fix this right now. Um, we'll find a, w a better way to strap it. But uh, always, always look for the obvious, man. That's one thing that I've learned from. Uh, 
from this one YouTuber. He always says, nothing's jumping out at me. You know, look at the obvious. And sure enough, as soon as I poke my head in here, there it is. little art spot right there so so let me get my other hand I'll take all this off and we'll see what we have to repair and uh, we'll go from there a nice little ground wire so we'll get this taken care of all right guys so uh, we went ahead and repaired this yellow one like I said it's just insulated you put a wire nut on it that's it but uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna check this motor so make sure that uh, that little arcing session there didn't damage it. So we're gonna take our one of our lines right here and we're gonna test it in continuity to ground. As you can see, it's open. So we're not grounded. Uh, let me see if I can do this. That's our purple. And then we're gonna take our white, which is our other line. And we're gonna check continuity to ground and we're open and then don't forget you also have shorts line to line so we'll check our resistance across our two power lines and we have continuity if we were to have zero we'd be shorted but we have 148 ohms of resistance so this motor should be good to go as soon as we apply power to it so i'm gonna go ahead and connect this back up and uh, then we'll start it up, see see what happens. All right, guys, so we got this wired back in. Now, I'm not out here saving the world, so I just put a little piece of uh, insulation here between the uh, the metal and the wires, put a zip tie on it. That should prevent any other spark outs or whatever. So now we're gonna get an amp draw once this motor starts. So uh, let me see. So according to this, if we're running 230 volts, we are going to see a, where are you? Man, this light's bright, you can't see. Should be running about 0.49 amps. That's what we should be running. So this is a multi-voltage motor, 115, 208, 230. So, so let's find out. right there on one of the lines Let's see what it runs go running about 0.34 amps not bad at all we got both fans running Part one of the fix. All right, so that was part one of the fix right there. Electrical. Part two, we're gonna brush this down. Um, I'll see if I can get some water in my pump sprayer and uh, try to rinse it off. I'm not sure this will focus, but got a pretty moon out there. So those of you resi techs that want to do refrigeration, just think about it. It could be out here at midnight. Got some water. Go brush that coil off. All right, guys. So this system is R22. Right there, R22. See if we can make a difference by cleaning this uh, coil here. Woo! Guys, for all the perfectionists out there, shut the unit off. Uh, take some of this crap off. 
caked on none of this is grease or anything so this is just going to require a light brush and some rinse and get some of that stuff out of from in the middle we should be all right so our head pressure was about 270 something whatever it was in the video a minute ago and we'll we'll double check see once this cold dries of course We'll double check just to see what our head pressure is going to be at. Hey, look at that. What a difference. What a difference we're making. Just kidding. Coil's still wet. <laughs> Alright guys, coil's dry. We're going to come in here and see what kind of uh, difference we made on the head pressure. So we were at about 278. So we probably made about a 15 to 20 psi difference um, just by cleaning that coil. You can see our suction line is nice and sweaty. So we're going to be good to go. We'll see if we can get them to move some of that product to take a uh, superheat reading downstairs. But I sincerely doubt they're going to. So we're going to call it good. So that'll be it, gents. Thank you all for watching. Sorry about the late night video, but... It is what it is, gentlemen. Thank you. Have a good night. I'm drop in town.